Hello everyone, my name is Ernest Ondera and I'm very excited to welcome you again to another episode. Today we're going to share with you information and news on why and how US dollar has remained strong within the giant world economic players of China and Russia, trading with rubles and yuan to clean the dollar. The US dollar has been the most powerful reserve currency in the world for over 80 years. And this reserve currency status gives the United States such unprecedented powers over the world economy that it can cripple the economy of any country within a fortnight. And because of this power, it has dominated giant players like Russia and China. Keep watching as we explore how these superpowers of trust, oil, and swift networks have helped the dollar to remain the strongest reserve currencies in the world. Understand why the US dollar is so strong and why it has almost a monopoly status among the reserve currencies of the world is that firstly, dollar served as a reserve currency of trust whereby in 1994, U.S. said if you have dollars, they would exchange its value in gold at $35, ounce, $35 per ounce. So two countries that may or may not trust each other could trade with each other without trouble. So in this way, if Kenya got $1 million from Nigeria, even if Nigeria did not trust Kenya, they knew for sure that the $1 million that they got could be exchanged for gold with the US. So it was definitely worth than trading with Kenya in Kenya shillings. Today, 7,000 Kenya shillings might be worth buying one gram of gold. But the next week itself, if Kenya prints more money and declares that 14,000 Kenya shillings will buy you one gram of gold, you can now realize what would happen. The entire value of trade with Nigeria would actually collapse. Moreover, if Nigeria wants to use Kenya shillings, then if other countries do not trust Kenya economy, then that money again could not be used for trade. But if the same transaction happened in dollars, the United States guarantees the value of dollars with gold. So you could trade with any country with the US dollars and be rest assured that it could be used to trade with any other country to buy any other commodity. But in 1971, Richard Nixon came out of nowhere and added this gold standard where everyone was free to choose any currency to trade. But even then, almost all countries stuck to the dollar because the dollar was the only currency that could buy oil from the Saudis. And the reason is that in 1946, U.S. President Franklin Roosevelt made an agreement with the Saudi king whereby the U.S. guaranteed the security of Saudi Arabia and in exchange, the Saudi king agreed to sell oil in U.S. dollars. So if you wanted to buy oil, you needed to have U.S. dollars. And it is the second reason for the dominance of the dollar. And that is the second superpower to purchase oil. And these two, two superpowers of trust and oil gave the U.S. the third superpower through the SWIFT network. And how does SWIFT network work? Through the US dollar stored in US bank account, if a Kenyan trader wants to make a transaction to a Nigerian trader, this, test, this system would have a Kenyan trader and a Kenyan bank and American bank one and American bank two, foreign bank and foreign trader. The highlights over here is being both Kenyan and Nigerian bank will have an account in the American bank where it has its money stored in dollars. So if Bitcoin industry wants to import raw materials worth 1 million Kenya shillings from Nigeria, the Nigerian would act as Kenyan trader to pay the same amount in dollars to Nigerian trade dollar account bank in US. So now that Kenyan bank has 1 million Kenya shillings in its Kenyan account, it will send a message to its American account to send 1 million Kenya shillings worth of dollars to Nigerian bank dollar account in the US. In this case, assuming 100 shillings to the dollar to be exchange rate, $10,000 will be transferred from the Kenyan account in the US to the Nigerian account in the US. And now that the Nigerian bank has $10,000 in the US account, it would pay the Nigerian trader Nira the equivalent of $10,000 from its account in Nigeria. This is how the SWIFT network works. 
and just like Kenya and Nigeria banks, today more than 200 countries and 10,000 banks trade with the US dollars and have their forex reserves with American banks. And the catch is that if a country uh, have $100 billion, $100 billion in forex and spend only $30 billion in exports and imports, they would have $70 billion in surplus. So just like we uh, about keeping a lot of saving and invest our money in stocks, these countries invest their excess foreign reserves in the U.S. Treasury bonds. And just like our government bonds, this bonds is a mega bond whereby countries are lending billions of excess dollars to the United States and expect a return after maturity. And this is where the unfair advantage of U.S. dollar comes in. As of January 2022, while Japan had $1.3 trillion in the U.S. securities, China held $1.06 trillion and UK, UK held $608 billion in U.S. Treasury bonds. And in total, the U.S. held $7 trillion by foreign and international investors as of September 2021. This is so much that's more than the GDP of France, India, and Russia combined. So in simple terms, the U.S. dollar has three superpowers, trust for trade, power to buy oil, and lastly, it has all the excesses for red reserves invested in its own economy with $7 trillion in bonds through SWIFT networks. These excess dollars are called as uh, petrodollars, and with this is where both China and Russia have a problem. In conclusion, these three powers have enabled the U.S. dollar to remain strong but nobody knows for how long thank you for watching and now click on the subscribe button like 